Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're a loyal subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button, okay? It's a new year, y'all, 2021. Out with the old, in with the new. Listen, 2020 was crazy, okay? We all know that. So this is my first video of 2021. So excited. I have some new content coming for y'all, including this video here. Um, let me know what y'all want to see this year. If there's anything new or anything you want to see more of, let me know. But as you can tell from the title, I will be doing a Skims review. Um, I figured that an actual review would be better than an unboxing, first impression, because the packaging was nice, don't get me wrong, but I feel like y'all want to hear about the quality, the fit. I'm also going to be reviewing the company in general, and if I think it was worth the money. Just all the hot tips are coming for y'all with this review, okay? I've never done a review before. Um, so any feedback would be much appreciated if I leave anything out that y'all want to know. You know, my comment section is always open down below. This is a tall girl friendly video. Not to say if you're not on the taller side, you know, this review won't apply to you, but I am tall, okay? I'm 5'10", and for size reference, I usually wear mediums. So listen, I ain't a small no more, <laughs> sadly. But you know, it's not sadly because your girl getting a little, you know, I'm getting a little rounded out. So here we are. I am still a part of the itty bitty titty committee up top. So I still do smalls on the top and mediums on the bottom. So that's for size reference. If y'all want to know what size I wear, that way you get an understanding of how the stuff fits. I'll also be including try on clips throughout the video to show you guys how the skims fits on me versus me just showing y'all and talking about it. Enough chit chat. I know y'all ready to see these skims and to hear my review, so let's get right into it. So first things first is this bag. It's, I believe it was like $4 extra. Like, you know when you go to checkout and they're like, do you want to add so-and-so? And I thought the bag was super cute. They call it a gift bag, I believe, on the site, but it's a pretty decent size. I honestly might use this as like a fit pick because I just think the neutrals are mad cute and it's just a cute bag. You could also just use this just cause, but I have all the items in here, not in their original packaging because like I mentioned, I wore this stuff already. So, what do I want to do first? So I pulled up my order on here um, just so I can reference the pricing as well as the actual names of the products that I purchased. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the cotton rib legging in bone so bone is what they consider like a cream slash white um this is it right here it's really just like a thermal material so that's really one big spoiler alert i will say is that this is loungewear i mean you can wear it outdoors not sure how warm you'll be especially in this climate right now but this is like thermals like this gives in the house i want to be cute it's a legging it's a rib cotton legging as it states and it's basically like a thermal it gives long johns very much so so y'all will see it on me it has like the little piece right here in the middle that most long johns have it does have their branding of course with the band with the little skims box right here but this is the color bone i would say that these were long enough so i ordered a small um even though i did say i'm typically a medium when I was ordering online, it said that the model in the pictures was wearing a small. And you know, it has her measurements and stuff. So I said, I'd prefer for my stuff to be a little more form fitting than big. The stretchiness of it definitely helped with the fit, but I think that the stretchiness of it has a downside. So because, maybe it's because I got a small, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm confusing myself. Because I got a small, it was on the stretchier side so i think if i would have gotten a medium it would have been less stretched out slash thin and less see-through so because this is the bone color um i wouldn't say it's see-through but it is on the thinner side like i said i don't know if that's because i got a size down and it essentially stretched out on my body 
or if this is just the actual material. I wouldn't say it's thin as in quality wise, like okay it's cheap, it's not cheap, it's not a thin quality material, but it does stretch. So for that reason I would not wear this outdoors because essentially long johns and this thermal material is meant to be worn underneath other clothes, but this is like a twist, you know, you wear it in the house, be cute. I personally wouldn't wear my skims outdoors unless I have something over it. But this is the bone in a small, it really just looks white on camera, but I promise you it's more cream. Next, I'm gonna get into the, what do they call it exactly? Just a plunge bralette. So on their website, they do have different types of bras. I, for one, think that their plunge bralette is like on the more popular side. That's usually what you see like the Instagram girls or most people wearing if they get the bra. They do have different types of bras though. But this is the plunge. As you see, it has like a deep V, hence plunge. I got this in a small, <laughs> so I stayed true to size um, because like I said, got the itty bitty titties. Yeah, one thing I do appreciate is that the band on this bra it's not only stretchy, but it's on the wider side as well as on the leggings. It's a little bit thicker, so I feel like that helps kind of tuck everything in. And the elastic part of it is nice, so it stretches. It does have multiple hooks, so let me. I wish this would focus properly. There we go. So you can see this allows for you to adjust how tight you want it exactly depending. I guess on your sizing or the width of your back, you can hook it on the biggest size, the smallest size. I think that's cool. And the straps are also adjustable. I think that's nice because depending on the size of, you know, your tatas, if you want it to be a little more form fitting or more upright, you'll of course tighten the straps if you want it to be a little bit looser. I think it's just good. Um, it's not really like a one size fits all kind of thing. I think it allows for you to change how the bra fits based on your sizing, which is nice. Um, I'll get back to the stain. I want this to focus. This little mishap that happened on my bralette because I haven't washed it yet for that reason. I've only worn this once and I got this little stain on it and I'm scared. <laughs> to wash it A in bleach because like I said this is like a bonish type of color and I don't want it to turn out white and I also don't want it to ruin you know the fabric so we're gonna see but I think it fits great it's true to size like I said I'm a small on top pretty tiny up top so I stick with the small next are the same exact items but in a different color so I feel like it's important for me to talk about this colorway because I think it has a big contrast to how I liked how it fit on me versus the bone. Like I said, I think the bone, because I got a small in the bottoms, it stretched essentially and made it look see-through, kind of thinned out the material versus this color, what's it called y'all? Kyanite, K-Y-A-N-I-T-E. <laughs> Kyanite, I'm guessing. It's like a blue. Like a bluish gray. I wouldn't even say just blue. It's really a bluish gray, but I love this color. I'm so glad I got this color because I honestly prefer it over the bone. I think the bone is a classic, similar to like this. It's like a neutral, you know, kind of goes with the fall, winter vibes, but I think this blue is just so stand out and it's just like boom. But literally the same silhouette as the exact same legging with the same little triangle piece here that most long johns and like thermal wear have and the same band and everything. But like I said, because it's in this darker color, I did find it to be just better looking on me. I don't know if that makes any <laughs> sense. But you'll see it in the little try on clip that it doesn't seem as stretched out or thinned out as the bone. But same length, I got this in a small as well. Honestly, I probably should have experimented and got one in a medium, one in a small, but I didn't want to waste my money if it didn't fit properly. So I just did small on both and the length is also great. Um, maybe Let me show y'all the bra. Like I said, it's the same plunge bra, but because 
it is blue it has a different effect the inside is lined um let me show y'all has a nice lining so it's not just the cotton which i think is really cool because sometimes just cotton on your skin a if you sweat it'll show really easily and the lining just adds an extra lining on your skin so it's not just the cotton the leggings however are just cotton there's no lining on the inside um, same band same adjustable strap and different sizing hooks on the back what I would say is be careful when you wash this so I'm done with the whole sizing part y'all saw how it looked on me I got a small and everything and it fit me just fine one thing I would say about washing this though I did not dry this so let me see what it says on here it gives you instructions it says hand wash cold do not bleach oh so maybe that <laughs> that answers my question right there so i'm not going to throw this in with the whites but i'm so scared about this changing color it says do not bleach as well um do not tumble dry do not iron do not dry clean so i would understand not ironing it because this material will probably burn really easily what i did i did not hand wash this so this is a little tip for y'all i threw this in the washer with the rest of my clothes but i did not dry it i hung this bra out to dry <laughs> the old-fashioned way because i did not want it to shrink or get the little fuzzies or whatever was going to happen to it i did not want to happen <laughs> you spend a lot of money on things like this you got to take care of them so i hung this out to dry to air dry and this is the result i mean it don't look no different to me than it did coming out the packaging honestly it's in the same good condition so you can wash this in the washing machine y'all i feel like hand wash is a lot <laughs> so i may have took the easy way out but it worked just don't put this in the dryer most of my stuff i'm extremely picky about as far as drying it because i don't want it to shrink usually air dry some of my more delicate you know items and this is one of them even the tights I air dry put it in my bathroom to hang to dry because I didn't want them to shrink in the dryer so wash it on cool though um, I mean typically you only wash white clothes on hot if I'm correct so wash this on cool you can throw it in with the rest of your clothes the dryer is just too unpredictable for me I just don't know how my stuff will come out so I prefer to take the safe route and to hang this to air dry so last but not least for this review is the general company i feel like the ordering process was so so easy i jumped on the website <laughs> as soon as i saw that they restocked all this stuff a couple months ago because i didn't want it to sell out because it was sold out for a while and boom boom i checked out like i said i added this little gift bag to my purchase and that was it it came really quick in less than a week my stuff was delivered um, so efficient on shipping there were no problems with like the tracking or the delivery everything was smooth and the packaging I thought was super cute let me see if I still have oh I do I'll show a picture of um, the packaging when I first got it because you know I took a little picture for my Instagram story and speaking of Instagram if y'all don't follow me already go do that but it came in these bags says skims i am not plastic i am compostable made from plants i will biodegrade in your home compost and in an industrial compost facility so i thought that was pretty neat you know we're in these times where global warming pollution all that stuff is going on so i really like that this packaging is environmentally friendly so good job skims every item came in its own separate bag so i got four of these <laughs> shout out to y'all skims because your packaging was not only aesthetically pleasing but also environmentally friendly we love that okay we got to take care of mother earth because sis is withering away the instagram account let me see how much followers the instagram account has has a lot but when i posted my packaging when i first got it i tagged skims you know because you never know if they're going to repost you just never know the um, account has 2.3 million followers, but when 
I first, first of all, I'm hype. <laughs> I posted the success of me being able to order it and I tagged them and they replied. They said, we hope you love your new skins. Let me show y'all. I'll probably just put a screenshot because with the whole ring light and the focus stuff. So I thought that was neat. I'm like, oh, you know, y'all actually care about your customers enough to reply to their messages. You know, I guess sometimes people ask questions or have inquiries about their orders. So I thought that was neat because I feel like a lot of, not just celebrities, but people that have bigger brands, they don't cater to their customers on that personal level. So even though it was just a quick response that may be automated or may, I'm sure it's not from Kim K herself, but maybe it is, who knows? <laughs> Either way, I thought that was nice that they were able to reply and acknowledge that, you know, I'm supporting their brand. And then I posted the packaging as well. And they replied again and said, we hope you love your new skims with a couple emojis. And I said, thank you. So that was very nice. I think that's good branding, good marketing for you to keep in touch with your customers. And what I should have done is told them to sponsor me. <laughs> Like, here I am doing this little review for y'all, giving y'all good reviews at that, because why would you sponsor me if I'm bashing your product? But maybe I'll message them that. I'll send them the link to this. How about that? I'll send them the link to my video afterwards once it's uploaded and be like, yeah, I could be a little brand ambassador for y'all. That's what it needs to get. <laughs> so that about sums up the video this was short and sweet i only ordered a few items so i wasn't expecting this to be super long but i hope it was detailed enough to answer any questions you may have had so in the categories of quality i would give skims a 9.5 out of 10 in terms of what are the other categories? In terms of customer service, I would give Skims a 10 out of 10 because of their response to you know my Instagram messages, how quickly my stuff came. There were no obstacles with the shipping or the delivery, so I thought that was good. It came fast as well, so 10 out of 10 for customer service. And as far as just the overall opinion and is it worth it, I would say yes. So if you can afford to, go ahead and purchase you some skims. It's loungewear at the end of the day, but I feel like it makes you feel good about yourself because of the quality of the material and how it shapes your body. You just feel good. So go ahead and get you some skims, okay? And this is not sponsored, but Kim K, if you're watching this, holla at your girl. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more reviews, let me know and let me know any other content that y'all want to see this year like i said it's my first video 2021 i have some really really exciting stuff planned but i do always like to hear feedback from y'all so let me know